Hey everybody, welcome back. It, I've been having fun not playing hard mode on the weekly so far. I don't mean to get overly filled with hubris, one might say. But I felt like in the first video, it'll be like an attractive joker. Um, or something. Uh... That would be a movie. You, you think they're making that movie? Sexy Joker? Don't say that's just a Joker. He's all... He, he, you could be into whatever you want to be into. Whatever you choose to be into. Or, or for that matter, whatever you... Hey, don't take me away. This town needs a better class of criminal. What was I talking about? Unfreeze this. Give me a, give me a fish in position too. Something that smells fishy. Yeah, brother. It's all the fish on the team. Anyway, I've been enjoying what we've done with this weekly so far because honestly in the last video it felt like we had one team that was like semi-meta it wasn't leech camel but if i remember correctly but it was like heavily moose driven and we we got a 10 piece and then we just had one team that was like i'm just gonna buy whatever and we had a 10 piece it felt uh, it felt amazing I would love to add a dolphin to the squad. So I feel like, I don't, I don't want to say like we're Parker Lewis and we can't lose right now. All I'm saying is that so far, you know, it's, we've had a reasonably successful time of it so far. Now I, I believe in the power of the team. So I'm going to place a, uh, a swan. And I still believe in the power of the team. I'm going to give us a little cupcake. I think this is our, this, we're in the right gear. Now's the time to apply some power, okay? Look at that. I mean, I don't know if we needed the cupcake on that one, but it was either a cupcake or, or rolling, and I was content with the cupcake. Let me get some meat. I will purchase an ant. You know, we should probably... We could get a salamander pumping. Phrasing. I'm going to. In that case, I, I'm content with our squad. So what do we do? Place me. Don't sell the swan. Buy a frilled dragon instead to help out your salamander. We're looking for start of battles. And good foods. It's, this is crazy, man. <laughs> a 3-3 buff for everybody on like round five is is nutty. It's like you you can't you can't do anything with that. I, I got the dream shop. What do you want me to say? I got the dream shop right now. We gotta keep it going, but this is like a it's an amazing start. Forget the elephant for now. Give me this. Gives us a squirrel. It doesn't matter, because you're in our flex position. We're doing buying and selling anyway. I wouldn't mind. Probably we would just say, you know what? After all this, if we had a swan active in this slot, we would consider it good, but we don't actually need a swan active. We'll put a swan here. We'll have two dolphins running instead. Got a 10-6 salamander on turn five. Two snipers. It's a pretty good position still. It's still a pretty good position, even though, like, it didn't go perfectly there. It went, the result looks perfect. And we're looking for start of battles. We'll combine you. It's very important the Salamander is, like, our late-game engine here. By the way, if you're going to get on my freaking case, and you're going to say, oh, the Salamander again, really? You, honestly, you should check yourself before you wreck yourself, in my personal opinion. Give me this and freeze me. Roll me. Freeze me, freeze me, freeze me. I know we got a lot frozen here. Because <laughs> um, otherwise, it's Leech Camel, brother. If it's not, uh, if the Salamander's not involved, prepare yourself for Leech Camel. And I don't, I don't think you're ready for that jelly, honestly. That was, the fact that we drew that team is amazing. That was a great looking team. You're going to place me. You're going to place me. This is just a great unit, honestly. Um, you're going to buy me. Sell me. You're gonna buy me. And I think now is a great time to maybe hot swap you. And I, I think I could feel compelled to sell a swan to run like a semi-permanent eagle. But we're kind of, I mean, you know the deal. We're kind of looking for a moose at this stage of the game. It's a strong looking squad, man. What did I tell you? If it's if it's not salamander, it's leech camel. And we did not get leech camel, so we're we're doing. We're doing what we can with what we got. You're gonna sell me, buy me. You're gonna sell me, buy me. Buy me just because you're a good unit. Now keep in mind, 
it, we're reaching the point where selling the fish is probably sensible. The fish is no longer much of a difference maker, it seems. Okay, they got heavy snipers, heavy sniping presence. And yet I feel like, oh, I feel okay again. I don't feel like we're, we're behind the eight ball. I love to see this, okay? I would say buy me. Llama, which is actually an alpaca, kind of interesting, right? What, what if we sold, bought, sold, bought, and then bought just to get the level? And then hear me out here. Now we're getting a little crazy. I know we're not doing much for the salamander here. But sell, and then your gorilla will be a level one and a half. Easier to level in the future. And then we'll just start giving the 2-2 permanent buff to our gorilla. Which is not, like, a 2-2 buff's not that crazy. But we're, we're freestyling right now, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. We're not, we're not just trying to emphasize the meta build. We're getting into some stuff that's a little bit more... So there's a little bravado associated with it, if, if I will. And I'm not going to say it worked out immediately, because our previous squad probably wins that one too, but it, it does feel nice. Now I'm like, do we sell a dolphin to get a level 3 dolphin out there? I don't think that's necessary. I definitely think you can leave the team, actually. I, don't re I could start giving you more experience. I don't think it's necessary. Unless, are we really... You know what? We should probably focus on pumping up the salamander here. So you should have bought those last time. Give me this. Don't worry about the alpaca right now. We're worried about start of battles. And I would sell this, this fool in a heartbeat, quite frankly. To get more start of battles. Gorilla leveling again does just seem sensible. You're gone. You give a start of battle effect. You give it to a unit that doesn't have food. And the, Salam uh, the, the Stegosaurus is about to level anyway. We don't need you to be level three. It's not, it, although, you know what? If I made you level three and started having you buff the alpaca, who knows what the future has in store? Oh, I rolled past you. <laughs> Hang on, start of battles? No, I, I, well, you know what? We, we could get a level three salamander pretty easily. We'd sell the hatching chick to make it happen, which I think I'm willing to do at this point. Buff the, buff the gorilla. Come on, it's about the money, stupid. Greenbacks, moolah. He buffed the hatching chick. I, I summoned the spirit of Kevin O'Leary's past. You got the audacity to buff the wrong unit. Listen, there's a multitude of different ways you could do this. I think you gotta sell here. Have you level? No, it, I'm cursed right now. Cause nobody's gonna be like thrilled with the setup here. Because everybody is going to want that hatching chick to hit level 3. And then buff the alpaca so that the alpaca then... We're spawning units that are like level 3 as soon as they're spawned. But I gotta... I gotta do, you know, what I, what I came to do here. You gotta temper the Zane with a little bit of sanity from time to time. Just to keep yourself in the running, okay? We're about to have a level three gorilla in all likelihood, which is very exciting. We could use more starter bat. I think we got to combine the gorillas for now. So that we can get some starter battles out here for our salamander. No starter battles? This is madness. Just buy, because we don't want to get like an extra trigger on this on this guy for no reason. Now that the, I'm, I'm a little disappointed, this you know what? Just take the frilled dragon instead, and maybe we'll buy an alpaca and level the alpaca next turn. But I don't know. Now I'm gonna sell the frilled dragon. I know this sounds crazy, but I would give anything. And there's so many great options here, but I would give anything to have the stegosaurus not buff the frilled dragon. If it buffs the gorilla, I'm loving life. Please. Oh, the alpaca again? I'm not asking for much, man. Holy cow. I've been gifted a miracle thanks to their the enemy snake. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Now, the alpacas don't buff each other, unfortunately. So we'll just toss you here. It would be great if they did. It would be great if they did. You are a start of battler. I'll place you. We're not keeping you long term, that's for darn sure. And then this is just another classic, you know, maybe we'll, we'll take a seahorse simply because it causes the, uh, 
enemy team that gets shuffled, and maybe we will keep it around, because if it gets the buff, uh, it's not, we're, all we're doing is taking it away from the alpaca anyway. We didn't even take it away from the alpaca. This team is going to beat us. Summon build kind of goes this week. I'm, I'm not disappointed. I'm happy to see it. I love when an orca and an eagle are like a viable part of the ecosystem. You should get uh, lollipopped. Could obviously send out like a level two snake pretty early, but he's searching for a lollipop. I'd love an eagle too. I'd love some start of battle effects more than anything else though. <laughs> like sell me, buy me. This is not going to be a, a super productive round from the shop, unfortunately. You know what? We give it a chance. Realizing you're maxed anyway, so what do we care on start of battle until we get a lollipop? That's pretty unfortunate. But if our, if our stegosaurus could just buff our gorilla, I mean, it's like a one in three chance, but anything could happen. It, it's actually a zero percent chance. I don't know if you knew this. is zero should be freezing as well okay god is my witness we're gonna win this this way you need one of those level three gorilla it needs the buff i'm at the point can i can i blow your mind can i annoy you i think that one of the ways we do this is it's not gonna be anybody's favorite uh thing to do here but just work with me okay this, I'll take it. I'm going to ensure that the gorilla gets the stats. I'm going to run three squatted. I should have a lollipop. I wish I did have a lollipop, quite frankly. And we're going to try to go psychotic mode. Ensuring that our gorilla at level three gets maxed out. And then just letting... Letting God sort it out, quite frankly. An orca. How dare you? We still made it. Not by much, though. <laughs> um, I mean, if you're going to be at 25 health, you need, a you need a melon rather than a lemon. I guess we could send something out as long as we send it out with food, but that's not going to be happening here. This is pretty important, I think. I would totally send out another Stegosaurus. It would forcibly buff the gorilla although the gorilla is going to essentially be maxed we'll find and she let me lick the wrapper we need to flip you freeze some start of battles okay i don't think this team is that crazy i think we made like actually the right decision for the squad that we have now this dude might... Oh, I thought he was going to steal my coconuts. <laughs> We're still going to lose, I think, just because the snake's going to shoot enough to cause problems. Mm, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, like... Okay, maybe it was a little psychotic. Either way, we had... I, I don't fe necessarily feel the need to defend myself, but I feel like if we didn't run Llama... If we didn't get weird with it, we probably cruise to 10, which is why I'm happy we chose to get at least a little bit weird with it. Maybe like an unknown underdog. They're so underdog, they're not even known. People are always like, I like to root for the underdog. Oh, really? You like to root for the second best team in the National Football League? Wow, that's big of you. <laughs> I'm always like, um, go, who's the worst team in the NFL over the last 10 years? Maybe the Jets? I'm always like, <laughs> go Jets. Oh, no, the Jets got Aaron Rodgers this year. I don't know anything about football. And I don't care, okay? Can't you take that to the bleacher report or whatever the heck, uh, the bar stool? It's not my area of expertise. Okay, we got NL's squeezers and juicers. The pupil has not yet surpassed the master. It's sad. We'll still take salamander. If you don't want me to take salamander, then give me like an early camel or a leech or something. Okay, well, we'll probably take both. <laughs> Very important. So it's a necessary, I mean, if you get the, let me, a better way to phrase this. We will not always get a salamander um, that early. So to get a, when we get a salamander at the early, earliest possible opportunity, or basically the earliest possible opportunity, 
we, we're going to take it. Because, honest, and I, I don't know if people are ready for this take yet. Because people do it to me, okay? I understand this is kind of the, the logic that uh, it keeps us down as a society. Other people I've realized in, in the last... I mean, when I grew up, everybody used their signal lights and they took pride in it. Now, nobody uses their signal lights at all. Um, and I'm sure that they all started using their signal lights and then they used it in traffic one day and somebody was like, no, you're not changing lanes on my watch. You're not getting in front of me. So they sped up and like almost caused an accident or something like that. So the people using their signal lights are like, well, I'm never going to use my signal light again. And they don't realize that now they're doing the same thing to other people and perpetuating it. But at least they're not like the only people losing anymore, right? But it's the way of the world. I don't know what to tell you. These are starter battles, by the way. They are. They are starter battles. Give me some of this. Give me some of this. Freeze me a lollipop for later. And then, ooh, hang on. Thought, just got to be honest with you. Costco's kind of dropped the ball. I've been waiting for my glasses to show up for... You don't need to send this to Kirkland's Brass, okay? Like, uh, they do a great job as a corporation for the most part. But I got my glasses at Costco. I thought I would be a good little worker bee as an executive member. It's been 10 days. They said it would be about a week. It's been 10 days already. I got them. I ordered them last Saturday. It is now the, the Tuesday after the Tuesday directly following that Saturday. Explain yourself. You don't need to send this up the totem pole. I'm not trying to, you know, get free stuff. I'm just trying to get my glasses, man. I'm just trying to get my glasses. There's lots of great stuff. I don't even know what you take. There's so much great stuff, I don't know what you take. I think I would rather take a hatching chick. Um, and, and we'll get ready to use the lollipop, but we don't have to use it just yet. But anyway, I've been playing hard mode, as you know, for a while now. This is not hard mode, but I have been playing hard mode for a while. I exclusively ran into meta teams over and over again. I'm not giving up any opportunity because people didn't give me any any uh, special treatment when I was trying to come up here. Why should you get special treatment? Doesn't make any sense. You reap what you freaking sow is what I'm trying to say. Can I tell you, I just like using the platypus when I get a chance just because it, 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 there's not that many opportunities, honestly. <laughs> We don't see too many opportunities to make the platypus pop. Oh, oh, say, hey, the weatherman come to bring me the bendy and rum. Hey, say, the weatherman. I'm not going to roll because I think this is going to become worse than a two. I'm going to say that I'm content popping this on you. And honestly, I would love to get a donut on a camel. So that the camel gets enough stats from this to pass him back. We haven't had a leech show up either, which is the real meta this week. This is losable. With a big ox, this, this is a losable situation. It's also a drawable situation. I'm, dude, I'm on zero lives lost right now, I just realized. So what do we want to freeze half decent units? Why don't you take that for now? And we want to buy start of battle effects. I think literally this is what we just want. Even though, like, you might question why we keep our camel around. I'm kind of in the same boat. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good point. No, oh, leech camel daring today, are we? I can't blame him. I mean, I just said, like, I uh, nobody extended the courtesy to me, so why would I extend the courtesy to them? You're absolutely right. If I got leech camel, I'd be running it right now. Maybe that's why the world is so fricked up, man. Maybe. I'm not leveling a camel, though. I'll tell you, the first thing we're leveling is a moose, without a doubt. You are a start of battle effect. Well, that's unfortunate. At least our salamander's getting buff. Moose leveling and then a donut on our salamander would go crazy. Although the salamander, he probably doesn't need it. A donut on a unit that might actually stick around, and then we'd be talking. I'm getting my butt kicked here. Put, put me in the loser's bracket, please. The winner's bracket has gotten too strong too fast. It's a big sell me. Big buy me. Big sell me. Big roll me. 
big freeze me, big roll me, big buy me. I think it's just a little bit too late for Leech Camel at this point, but I, I respect what you what you got going on there. And can I tell you? I think it's time to sell you. You're no longer doing what I, I need you to do. Um, we'll run an Eagle just because it's a good unit, and we'll, we'll run a Scorpion just because it trades favorably in most circumstances. Not that one. <laughs> Not that one. Hang on, though. Hang on, though. Oh, what a strong penguin! Well, well, well. Now, I'm gonna sell ya. I'm keeping the scorpion. I'm gonna buy ya. I'm gonna buy ya. It does certainly feel like it's falling apart a little bit. I'm gonna purchase this. Why am I not freezing units? What's wrong with me? You know what we can do? Sell me, buy me. That way um, we at least get a 3-3 buff on the camel. We're, we're basically begging for equipment difference here. No snipers, please. Holy cow, it's a big gorilla, though. No! <laughs> it's all falling apart, man. This is huge, though. Freeze me. Freeze me, freeze me. Start a battle. Yes. Sell me, buy me. We'd still love to see a lollipop. Freeze me, freeze me. Roll me. This is acceptable. But I would still roll first. Oh, an orca. <laughs> great. So you remember, you can't freeze anything. I think it's a great circumstance to throw a bird of paradise out. Although, we, we, I guess we're going to sell scorpion in this case. Okay. Need a lollipop for the salamander? Don't snipe me, bro. They sniped me, bro. <clears throat> I don't see how we could win this one. Especially when you spawn an orca into a, a, a demoralizer sheep. Wow, that's painful. I blame that one on Kirkland Signature's optical department. Bro, it's not them, and please, it's the subcontractors who do the lenses. Plus, your prescription's probably messed up. I am an executive member, okay? How about an inedible stinker? If they told me it'd be two weeks to get the glasses, I would have said, thanks, but no thanks. I'm on my way someplace else. They said it should be about a week. And they know what they're doing with that kind of language. Were you born yesterday? They didn't want to tell me 10 days because they knew I'd say thanks, but no thanks. I'll just go down the street. Okay, so my, as, as, Hinted at earlier, my hubris is obviously a little bit misplaced uh, so far in this video. We uh, we have not gotten a 10 piece. We got a 5 and an 8. It's not so bad. I'm so, I, like, I don't know what you want me to say. I, there's nothing I could do, dude. You have to take a salamander when it shows up, because otherwise the Melvins will freaking eat you alive. You'd, you'd have to be stupid not to take the salamander. And it, it bums me out a little bit, but it also, I mean, it's the state of the world we live in, man. If you're calcium deficient and there's a corner, a corner store that's giving away free milk, you'd be stupid not to get the free milk and instead be like, no, no thanks, I don't want this um, yo plate milk. I'm a Briars man. You'd have to be, you'd have to be out of your mind. Okay, that's a draw that feels like a win, unfortunately. We should have we should have rearranged our positions a little bit. Dolphin, I mean, the squads are looking mighty similar. You're not going to hear me say otherwise. <laughs> I, 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 I do what I can with the tools that I got, okay? I do what I can with the tools that I got. We're in a great position to get a lollipop. I also do think that a raccoon could go off... If you make the commitment to buy a raccoon, I think it could go a little crazy. This team certainly feels like it eats me alive. Fair enough. I mean, Ox is just, like, for two rounds, the Ox is unbeatable. We're gonna do a sell me, buy me. I'm doing you a solid here. I'm keeping the crab around because you just never know what, what it might be capable of at some point. You're going to sell me, buy me, sell me, and then honestly, just place me. I don't know. Like, it's a bit... 
just uh, my gut feeling is when the salamander has so little HP, we have to move it slightly back in the rotation and then try to. Oh, we screwed up your, your. We screwed it up for you a little bit, I think. We're still gonna lose. All right. I think you need. I mean, we need a lollipop tooth sweet. That's a given. Leech kind of goes crazy too. Um, I mean, you know what else goes crazy? Slug, tree frog, they go crazy is not the right um, expression, but it does pretty well. And I think we can afford to wait, wait on these start of battles for next turn. And then like the crab could almost become useful, but I think it's, that's maybe a bit of a pipe dream. So we're, we're mixing it up ever so slightly. You've stolen my honey and you've, you've stolen my heart in the process. But look at that, that's a very favorable trade for us. Now, the dolphin's a bit of a dead end. We got to keep this salamander pumping. If we can get the salamander close to 50-50 and give it a lemon, it's like, it's free wins for a while. Now, let's just pop you up there. I would just roll. You're not start of battles, and that's okay. You are what we're looking for. You're not really that relevant. You're very relevant. And maybe, like, I don't know. I don't want to keep a second lollipop frozen that long. A 1622 unit can do something for a bit here. I feel better. I feel more confident, fitter, happier, more productive. Sorry, I forget what he said. Please let me out of computer mainframe. You're not doing enough anymore. Gives me the space for this, and this, and this, and then a moose, brother. It's it's that simple. Now, the moose, admittedly, is a 1-1 one, one buff to start with. So maybe you just wait a turn. You enjoy your last turn with freezing available. It sounds great to me. Your silk moth buffs the slug. Your tree frog gets some free shots in. Maybe a tree frog needs some pineapple at some point. You screwed me. You screwed me with a single seahorse. You did. Can you can you believe it? I, I can't believe it myself. I'm going to take pleasure in this, just so you know. I've got a smile on my face. How dare you try to win in a competitive game. You need this. You're gone. Buster, you're probably gone too, uh, to, just to make some space. You're moving up. You're getting purchased. You're getting purchased. You're getting purchased. I'm realizing there's no way we're getting a good buff. <laughs> it's just, it's just not going to happen. Sell two units for a chocolate. It's not my wheelhouse. I'm sorry, you got it because you can't keep things frozen with this. But hey, we got a good buff, actually, like a, a relatively solid buff. And keep in mind, um, we got the lemon on our salamander this turn, which is like an insanely valuable piece of equipment. Okay, tree frog is is sneaking in some free damage. I think the tree frog is a bit of a dead end, but sue me, it's a fun time, okay? And that takes us to six, and I'm I'm feeling strategically compliant right now freeze these two and this one and then roll this always goes to your moose now i don't have enough money to buy the okay no i, I can still do it here sell one buy buy and then you're getting a four four buff on something doesn't really matter what and it's an okay four squad for now now we need the moose to keep getting buffed this, uh, this is going to go crazy for them. It's not going to go crazy for me. This is catastrophic. That's not helping. <laughs> you got a very strong team there. You, you match up very favorably against me, but I'm still feeling good long term. I'm not freezing threes. That's, that's outrageous. I'll freeze sixes. And I'll buy. And I'll sell. And I'll, you're a start of battle, I just realized as well. And I'll buy. I'll sell. I'll buy. And I'll sell. 
Well, I know we're only getting a 3-3 buff, but now we got quite a big lad up there at the front, and maybe he should be up at the front now that I think about it, because he's getting... Uh, He's gonna beat up on those elephant camel teams that we just ran into. Ooh, but this other lad is still quite strong to be on, but not that. St please, please, tree frog, you just gotta land like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you hit. We got you. We got you. I got you on camera. Okay. It was scary, but we got there. Not necessary. Very good. Very good. Very. Good. Now we don't have to run four squatted. This is just a flex position right now. Where, I keep hearing, maybe it's just my cat behind my monitor. They're not, even, they're not even bringing my glasses to my house. They said they would text me when they're ready. Still, where's my text? Where's my text, Costco? Where's my text? Tiger doesn't do anything here. I think you can unfreeze the four and you got some rolls in you. Oh, then you get a five. That's incredible. You know what? Why don't you take one of these? and then roll it out. You know what, I'm realizing we need to take starts of battle. We still did great though. We're, we're getting a 5-5 five, five buff on two different units. So maybe it's not even necessary to focus that hard on the start of battle. But we are basically relying exclusively on, the, on our salamander to, to kind of carry us forever. It's doing a really good job. <laughs> you can't be too upset, I guess. <laughs> even though you keep spawning the same freaking things, but Okay, the, a, a regular snake behind our salamander would go so hard. Not sold on these. Sold on that. This is still very nice, I think. Um, this is very nice. I, in my personal purview, I choose not to take a roll on this. I choose to take my two three threes. Now, what's going to receive a buff? It will be either the moose or the slug. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, as far as I'm concerned. Oh. It's a level one gorilla. We're chilling. Freeze me. Freeze me. We're not concerned about start of battle effects. I genuinely don't care who gets the buff. So I'm not going to buy a melon to like make sure that it goes to one unit. Unnecessary. Probably unnecessary, but like why not, I guess. Qu quite nice. I would freeze, freeze, roll once. What does that accomplish? Well, it does. It gets rid of the message that says, are you sure you want to end your turn with one gold remaining? Which saves me a couple of comments. <laughs> shoot the scorpion! Oh, you don't need to shoot the scorpion. You're not going to get a chance to shoot the scorpion. Wait, we're going down this round. We're, 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 we're going down this round. Not by much. We're gonna, I, I love a good super lethal finish, though. Let's see. This is something I'd love to see. Now this, I, I may love to see it, but it depends on how it shakes out. Because a level two Salam, or a level two Stegosaurus does so much more for us. I guess this, no, 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 because we need the space. You gotta leave it a space. Oh, okay, well you gotta do what you gotta do. Two six six buffs is still very nice. I'm betting on nine if I'm being realistic. Although, this squad, it, I guess partly it depends what the beluga's got going on in there. So level 2 beluga, please don't spit out like an eagle or an orca. I will lose my mind. A wolf? We take this. Alright, I knew we had a 10-piece in us. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. The squads have looked very similar. They don't have to look similar. The game could just give me a leech and a camel, and then we'd be off to the races. But for now, if they give me a salamander on turn 3, I'm taking it. They give me a moose on turn 7, I'm taking it. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you.